we're now going to show how you can prove that a matrix has no inverse. So suppose we have the matrix 3, 1, 3, 1. And what we want to do is we want to show that this has no inverse, that this is a singular square matrix. Well, the way we're going to do this is we're going to multiply this by a new matrix with A, B, C, and D, and that has to come equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. That's our definition. If A, B, and C, and D exist so that we can make this happen, then we have what we need. So, we're going to do our matrix multiplication 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 equals a 2 by 2. So we're going to get first row, first column, gives me 3A plus 3C. Our first row, second column gives me 3B, no, I messed that up. This should be a C, 3A plus C. Then we get a 3B plus D from our second one, and a 3A plus E from our third one, and a 3B plus D from our fourth one. So our third one is this times this, and then this times this. And that's got to equal 1, 0, 0, 1. So here we go. Now we're going to use our matrix equa equality principle to say this has to equal this. So 3A plus C equals 1. And 3B plus D equals 0. 3A plus C equals 0. And 3D plus 3b plus d equals 1. And notice that if I use elimination, because I have four equations with four unknowns, but they split very nicely into 2 and 2. If I use elimination, if I just subtract this one from this one, I get 0 equals 1, which is always false. And the same thing happens here. 0 equals 1, which is always false. And so these both come up as contradictions. So there's no values of a and c, for which 3a plus c is 1, and 3a plus c is 0, and there's no values of b and d, so that 3b plus d is 0, and 3b plus d is 1, thus showing that this has no inverse. Now there is another way of showing this that we'll talk about once we talk about how we actually find the inverse. But this is what you need to know for now.